Before you migrate your on-premise infrastructure onto the Azure cloud, Azure offers a calculator called the Total Cost of Ownership Calculator. This calculator helps you identify what resources you have on-premise and the same that will cost you in the cloud. So you can do like a calculation before you migrate all your resources onto the cloud. So to get started, type in Azure TCO, which is the total cost of ownership and click on calculator. Over here, you'll have three steps that will define how you calculate the total cost of ownership. First is you would define your workload and I will run through an example showing you how do we do this. Second would be to adjust your assumptions and then lastly would be to view your report. Now in this example, I am going to migrate five VMs, one database and one storage appliance from my on-premise to the cloud. If I go into my servers, I define my workloads I can name this as anything, but I'll leave it as virtual machine for now. And my virtual machines are normal Windows machines. You can decide whether they are physical currently on your on-premise or they are virtual machines. Generally, these days, most machines are virtual machines. So I shall leave it at virtual machines. My operating system is Windows. License is standard. My VMs are five. My uh, virtualization hypervisor is VMware. You can choose Hyper-V or VMware. I'll select eight cores and I'll optimize by CPU. What does optimize by CPU mean? It means that if Azure can't find a proper match for your VM that has eight cores and 16 gigs of RAM, it will optimize by the CPU. If we select optimize by memory, then it will find the closest VM that has the RAM of 16 GB. At the moment, I'll just leave it at CPU because I want my virtual machines to have minimum of 8 cores. So let's scroll down to databases. Click on add database. You can add more workloads if you want to by clicking this button. But since I don't have any more workloads, I shall just have the one. So delete that. Go into database. My database is a Microsoft SQL Server. The license, I'll leave it at standard. It's a virtual machine. Operating system is Windows. Standard. One VM and it's running on VMware. Eight cores, 32 gigs and optimized by CPU again. Now my destination is, how do I want this on the Azure platform? Do I want an SQL database? Do I want a managed instance? I want an SQL Server VM. Now a managed instance would be your best choice because it is managed by Azure. So let's select managed instance. The managed instance tier would be general purpose. Leave it at default of eight cores. SQL storage server as 32 gig and I can select backup of 100 GB as an example. Moving on to storage, my storage appliance. So I'll rename this. My storage type is a SAN. You can choose NAS or Blob. Type is HDD or SSD. Depending on this, the price will increase or decrease. Capacity 1, Backup 1, Archive 1, leave it at default and outbound traffic that is consumed per month. And let's confirm this. Yes, monthly network bandwidth requirement. So how much does your organization transmit over a month? The outbound traffic, right? So let's say I transmit around 100 GB a month. And my destination region is UAE North because I am in the UAE and I click on next. Now over here, you would adjust your assumptions. You can select the currency 
that you would like your report to be viewed in. So I shall leave it at default of the dollar. And if you have on-premise licenses, that would save you a lot of money. If you don't, then you have to remove the assumption. But right now, I would just say that, yes, I do have both my licenses. Do I want geo redundant storage? Your price will increase because you're replicating your storage to another region. If you want that, you can switch that on depending on your workloads, how you would want it in your Azure environment. I shall remove that for now. Enable this for the calculator to not recommend BS series virtual machines. So BS series are low cost options that typically require low to moderate CPU performance. So if I enable this, it will not recommend BS series. I shall leave it as is. Electricity cost. Now this would differ from country to country. So depending on where you are, if you get your electricity bill, it will tell you exactly how much is it per kilowatts per hour. So I would currently leave it as is at the default because I don't know how much I'm paying for my kilowatts per hour, but I shall leave it at default for this example. Scrolling down, I would leave the storage cost and IT labor cost at the default, but you can change these numbers and it will give you a different calculator based on these numbers. You can change the hardware costs, you can change the software costs and so on. So have a look at this example and see how you can save on Azure while migrating your workloads from on-premise. Click on next to view our report. And over five years with Microsoft Azure, I can save as much as $38,000, which is quite a lot. And I don't have to worry about maintenance costs and all the other costs that are associated with an on-premise deployment. I can change my time frame from here. So obviously with one year, I'd be saving a lot less. 37,000, which is not bad. Two years, 33 and so on. You can change the region, which would also tell you. So let's go to UAE North, which is my region. In UAE North, the cost of resource is a lot higher and hence you would save a lot less. So if your workloads do not need to be in a certain geography, you can select the cheapest region and deploy your resources over there. Mind you, if your applications are not latency specific, you can deploy your resources in a cheaper region. If you scroll down, you can see the breakdown of your total costs over two years. And if you scroll further down, you can also expand the compute cost. It will tell you the total cost of your hardware over two years, your software over two years, your electricity cost, and so on. If you scroll down, it will also tell you about your IT labor cost, your storage cost, network cost, data center cost, and so on. Now you can also download this report. You can share this report with your colleagues or your manager, or you can save this report for future reference. So I do recommend that you review this calculator, play around with it, see how you can save cost in Azure while migrating your workloads from on-premise. And I shall see you in my next video. Thank you.